like to welcome everybody here to IFC West 2023. And thank you for taking your time to uh, come our, attend our presentation here uh, at our LTS booth. I'm Louie, I'm the sales engineer here. And so I will be presenting uh, the information that we've got. And let's get started. So let's uh, start with, uh, let's look at these two images. So here we've got two different images. One, of course, is your standard IR camera right here. And the second one is of our Color 247 camera. If we're looking at the details, uh, you will notice that this is an 8 megapixel. So it is a very high resolution camera. But uh, using IR, do you all see anything that is not really ideal as far as this image? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So of course, yes, there are going to be some issues, mainly these little streaks right here, right? And so what those are is this picture was taken at um, a rainy day. So I don't want to show you, you know, a nice clear black and white image. So we got to go a little bit more to the extremes. And so with the IR lights on, um, the IR light is actually reflecting off those lights. And so that's what is giving you all these little lines here that you see across the whole image. And so if you're using this for evidence, then it's not going to be very ideal. Let's compare that to our 8 megapixel color 24-7 camera. So this is the same resolution as the previous one. The only difference is this got our color 247 technology. And what that means is 24 hours a day you are able to see in color. So these cameras were side by side. It was taken at the exact same time. So yes, you can tell because we do see some water droplets, these little white dots, but you are not going to get any of those streaks like you saw on the IR black and white image. And so with this, you are able to see a lot more details, details in like the color. And so that is what we're pretty much going for. Uh, if something is happening, let's say like a car comes in, a person comes in and does something on your property that you're not wanting them to do, you are able to uh, pretty much pick out a lot more details. What color is the car? Uh, what are they wearing uh, while they're committing the offense? And it is a lot more helpful when you're getting to authorities that, you know, to use this footage. Here I will show the two images side by side. That way you are able to get a good idea of what we're looking at here. So both of these ones again are the exact same 8 megapixel cameras. The difference is this is using your IR technology. This is using our Color 247. So you'll notice that we do have a lot of those reflections going on from those IR lights on the camera itself. Uh, if you did not turn on the IR lights, then you wouldn't really be able to see very much. So yeah, more often than not, that IR light is going to be on. With this one right here, yes, while the cameras do have a white light, if you don't have enough lighting to light up the area, we actually do not have any of those lights on. So what we're looking at is you know, just coming from the sensor itself on the camera. And so that brings up, you know, our slogan for this year, um, which is going to be step up your game with color 247. And so to color 247, in a nutshell, you'll see the explanation. It's our line of cameras that we have here at LTS that is able to see in color 24 hours a day, day and night. So you will be able to stay in color, none of that black and white stuff that you usually see out on the market. Here is an example of a 24-7 camera. This is our 3CAP. It's our panoramic camera. You will see that it does have two lenses. That is what's giving you that 180 degree field of view. And so with our Color 247 technology, you are able to see, of course, everything is in color. But not everybody will have a panoramic camera, right? So this is probably the aspect ratio that most of y'all are you know, familiar with. So this is a 2.8 millimeter, roughly 102 degrees field of view with our 247 technology. 
And so, yeah, you get that nice color image and we do get a lot of the details. You will notice, you know, kind of like stuff right here. You will see kind of like the tire marks. And so all in all, if you have anything that is happening in this area, which this is like a back of a um, office building, parking lot, warehouse, you will be able to kind of see everything that's going on day or night. And so here at LTS, we do have your traditional styles of cameras. So one being that, you know, your standard turret, which is that right there. We do have domes. We do have bullets. All of these will have your Color 247 technology. And so, yeah, if you're trying to make a switch into something with that technology, these are going to be familiar to y'all and you're, they're basically going to be installed the exact same way. On the other hand, we do have some more specialty form factors. Specialty form factors as in the panoramic, which I showed you earlier. We do have our PTZ. This one right here is a dual lens. So you have your fixed lens at the top, your PTZ on the bottom. Why does that come in handy? Of course, you know, when you have your PTZ looking in one direction, what's going to be looking at the other direction? And so with this, you are able to see the general area of what's happening and you have your other PTZ portion that is going to be getting you those extra details of what's going on. Uh, last but not least, we do have our solar camera. We you see that we have got our solar camera right there. Um, so size comparison, this is all freestanding. So what that means is we do have a solar camera that is charging up the batteries. The battery is in turn going to be running that camera. You are able to run additional uh, external devices on that because it does have a 12 volt, one amp output. So basically you've got 12 watts of power to work with. Here is an example of an image that we have uh, that is coming from our 3C6P. Uh, this camera is actually installed at our booth here. And so you notice that we are getting a 180 degree field of view. So you're looking all the way from the left, all the way to the right. Well, in your case, it's gonna be backwards. So your left, all the way to the right. And then here is a sample image from our solar camera, which is that camera that you see right here. That solar camera is eight megapixels. And so you are still getting the same higher resolution. And we do have enough power coming from that panel to support those loads. So yeah, look at all the details that you see in this image. So eight megapixel, look at the sharpness, look at kind of off in the distance, you can kind of make out all the text that we have going on here. So yeah, that's one of the you know nice selling points that we have for this. I would say on our solar camera, um, a lot of the people that buy them, you know, they are like basically for construction sites. Uh, we do have a lot of people saying, yeah, we've got supplies at our construction site, but a lot of people are uh, stealing them. Uh, they can't really run something traditionally because there is no power output that they're able to take advantage of. And so that's one of the bigger selling points that we have. Not too big that, you know, you're going to be taking up a lot of room. You can mount that on a wall. You can mount it on a pole. So it is very flexible in that regard. Here is another example. Uh, this is running on a substream, so which is a lower resolution image compared to the mainstream that you saw in the previous one. You are able to get a lot of information on there. So what is in our traditional cameras, meaning you do have your date, your time. Uh, we do have the labeling. You can label your camera with whatever you know site that if you're needing it for. So if it's like at the front of the you know of your job site, you can just put front, back, whatever you want. Okay, and so you also do see a lot of additional information, like this stuff right here. And so what that means right here is because uh, these cameras uh, out of the box, they will be using a SIM connection. That's how, you know, since it is wireless, uh, that's how you're gonna be sending that data. Uh, so put in your SIM card, use that uh, data connection to get that video out to where you're needing it. We do also have your signal strength, uh, your cameras, 4G modem going out to your cell towers. We do have other information. So if you're a nerd like me, you wanna know all the information, you do see what's the voltage of the battery currently, 
what is going in or out as far as power wise as as you can see in this picture it's at 11.8 volts and it is actually using 1.18 uh, amps so if you want to know how many watts just multiply that together and you'll know that information also we've got temperature on there you don't have to display all that information if you don't want it you can just log into the camera and uncheck all those options you won't see any of that and so if you all have been installing cameras for a while you probably have seen screens that look like this which is no resources and what does that mean that is where you're running too many high resolution cameras but the re uh, re recorder does not have enough processing power to decode the image so you're met with something like that which is not fun huh that's where this comes in double the decoding capacity which is our slogan for our new 8689 series recorders the advantage on this is that it does have a lot more powerful uh, CPU and GPU decoding. Uh, besides being able to decode, it is able to support higher resolution cameras. It's able to do up to a 32 megabyte camera um, and so also has a higher resolution outputs. It actually has an 8K output on there on your HDMI. And two HDMIs on these and these are able to do uh, 32 channels of uh, 2 megapixel images, run them all in mainstream, it is able to show it without those error messages, like there are no resources. And that's all I have for today. Um, so if any of y'all have any other questions, yeah, you can let me know. Uh, but if it's at a different time, you can always check out um, these sources of information, talk to anybody at our booth, uh, you can go and call any one of our branches. We do have catalogs around uh, our booth. If you look on the back, you will see all the different numbers for our branches. Feel free to give them a call, talk to anyone there. You can also get information from our website, ltsecurityinc.com, or send us an email, info at ltsecurityinc.com. Hey, thanks guys, and enjoy your uh, rest of your ISC West experience.